non-pet rotation is similar to the magnite blade where you have your dots in the back and you weave on the front. It's not too difficult. All you have to do is just that. Dots in the back, weave on the front. So your rotation would look like this. Drain, drink your potion, drop your ulti, light attack liquid, light attack blockade, light attack curse, swap, weave five times, one, two, three, four, and five. And that's pretty much your rotation. Once you hit the fifth weave, you want to swap back to your back bar, and you lay down your dots, then back to the front and weave again. When your crystal fragments procs, make sure you count that as one weave. So let's say I weave four times and my frag procs on the fourth weave, I would count that as the fifth. So for example, one, two, three, four, and five. I'm going to let my crystal frag proc um, sit there because on the fifth weave, my dots are going to run out, so I want to be on the back and reapply them. Make sure you light attack between every single ability because when you have the Maelstrom Lightning Staff, each light attack and heavy attack just does so much more damage. So I will, if I were to test, it would look something like this. Dots. I won't reapply curse because it's still ticking. One, two, three, four, and five. My curse just ran out, so I'm gonna reapply it now. My drain is also running out, so I'm gonna reapply that. One, two, three, four, and five. Swap bars, reapply. One, two, three, four, five. Reapply. And that's just about it for the rotation. Before we continue, I want to make a point that non-pet sorks are very powerful, but they also rely heavily on RNG. If you look at our skills, Crystal Fragments only has a 35% chance to proc, and this frag can also crit, so we're also taking into account of our spell critical. Right now, we have 41.9%, but we offset this with this set called Mechanical Acuity. So this gives us 100% spell critical for 5 seconds when it procs, and this will offset um, the loss of uh, crit that we have, because we don't have any crit modifiers here. And also this gives us a, a lot more burst potential compared to Giuliano's. And so Pestworks also have varying parses. Your parses will never ever be the same because of the skill alone. You're fighting RNG for this to proc, and you're also fighting RNG for this to crit. So your highest parses will be your most frags and all of them critting, and your lowest parse will be none of these even procking or none of these even critting. That's one thing about the sorks that I don't like, but other than that they're very powerful. They have a very easy rotation to learn, and pretty much anyone can pick up an um, imperfect asylum stuff and uh, Trait change it to infuse and put a shock and chat on it and be very powerful. I'll show you a full test and rotation of the non pet sork. One thing to note is that when you're out of magic, you can weave once and do two heavies in the back, or you can weave three times and do one heavy in the back. So, what this allows you to do is keep your dots down, but you're also getting your magic back up from the lightning staff heavy attack since they do more magicka return than your inferno so here we go I'm gonna try to explain everything here I'm just gonna say why I do this and why I do that so we're gonna first start with frag cast it cancel it because you still get the buff here so frag I'm gonna swap bars drain ulti liquid wall and then curse so frag Potion, Drain, Ulti, Liquid, Wall, Curse, Swap Bars, 1, 2, 3, 4, and 5. We apply 1, 2, 1, 2, 3, 4, and 5. We apply. Curse ran out, so I'm reapplying. Drain is running out, so I'm reapplying. 1, 2, 3, 4, and 5. Swap. Two, three, four, and 
reapply. You don't want to reapply curse too early because um, the second explosion won't come. One, two, three, four, and five. Reapply the dots. Drain is ran out. One, two, three, four, five. Reapply. My magic is running low, so I'm going to weave once and do the two heavy attacks in the back. That's the rotation. So let's see my score 40.6. Oh wow. Uh, okay, that works. But that's pretty much the rotation for the non pet stork. So when you're playing a non pet stork, you need to make sure your magicka is at around 40% as you enter execute. And you can do this with two ways you can weave once and do two heavies, or do three weaves and one heavy. So one weave, two heavies. Or you can do three weaves and one heavy. And so what that allows us to do is um, get a, some magic back, but also making sure our dots don't fall off. And make sure you do exactly three weaves and one heavy, or one weave and two heavies, and not any other combo, because if you do, your dots will fall off, and um, your deeps will go down. So with a perfect staff that changes, you can do four weaves, one heavy, or you can do two weaves and two heavy, because their um, the perfect staff has only two casts of force pulse, whereas the imperfect staff takes three. And so the reason we want to make use of this is because we want the concussion up while we're doing heavies on the back. And so um, each staff has its own different um, rotation for the magicka return. 